I always get people like make nicknames or abbreviations, so that's just basically what's gonna come out. But yeah, so Alex always had a problem coming up with a certain number. I mean, you would think at a certain point, you know what I mean, it would be, you know, he's a part of the show, you know, he comes here every week, allegedly. So what are we doing today, Alex? We're gonna get it right and get you know Honestly get right to it. My brothers. What are you? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Alright, I wanna say me and my brothers have been doing the 804 podcast. For 183 episodes. Is that confident? Exactly. That's what I want to say. So what do you really want to say? What do you really want to say? That's I mean, that, that's what I want to say. What you think? I mean, it's 183 episodes. You didn't say that with your chat. But my partners got it. You know, we're going to handle this off camera. You're not even going to talk about it. But 183 I mean, episodes. Right now. We could handle it right now, but let's just handle it. Yeah, 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 this is all, yeah, this is all awesome. Just so, know, just know it's going to get handled, yeah, and handled well. So, for the viewers out there, right. 183 episodes. Right, right, okay. 183 all right, all right. episodes, all right, all right. 183, last time we said. Yeah, hope, oh, yeah, all right. Oh, for sure. Um, another thing that we do here, we do have the quote of the week, quote of the day, and who else better to get it from than our guests. So this this quote can be a song lyric, Bible verse, IG caption, tattoo, anything that just means something to you. It could be short and sweet. It could be long and philosophical. Just anything that means something to you. Medium and small. I'm gonna go with tattoo. Okay, that's um, nice. you can't see it. That's okay. But it's uh, why do we fall? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up. It's from Batman. Yeah, I was like, hey, I was like, okay. <laughs> Batman. It's from Which Batman. Um, I want to say, yeah. yeah. I was asking. <laughs> okay, so it's, yeah, the first, it's the first one, but like, okay. yeah. it's a comic book, yeah. too. It's, it's, mm. it's a whole lot. It's a kid with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
it was like I was supposed to be in like this uh, girl group with my friends, but um, they weren't as serious. I love them, but they weren't as serious mm -hmm. about it. And uh, I was talking with my brother, and he was just like, you know, you you really got some great like stuff, great imagination. You should really go for it. So I just kind of like picked it up from there, and he had to like kind of trick me to get into the studio because your girl was not feeling as confident. But eventually, you know, I got in there and um, made some stuff happen. This is it. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I got a question based off of that. Okay. So when did you stop making music? Um, no, nah, I'm playing. That's not a real question. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, when... Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> now you have to make a real question. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. But I got it, I got it now. But, um, what if... <laughs> yo, respectfully. No, I'm not making you right now. I'm not making you right now. But no. Nah. What inspires you? Um, I have a lot of things that inspire me. Um, my brain is just always like constantly going. Like there's mm -hmm. always something. So it's like my dreams, just like things that I see, things that like my friends like go through, things that I go through. It's mm -hmm. just like all melted into one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I say this. What's your songwriting process like? Oh, it's, it's something. Um, <laughs> Sometimes I just like write like I have a whole bunch of like just stuff and ideas um, I'm gonna take stuff for like my dream. Let's say I have like a crazy dream I'll write down everything that happened in the dream and then I'll write like a poem and like just kind of filter it out And add like stuff that works and stuff that doesn't so it's like a song That's super cool. mm -hmm. um, Have you ever experienced any critics? Crit like, oh my anything? god, yes. Like negative? Um, negative and positive, yes. How you doing? Yeah, let's you know we love it. Negative. Oh, yeah. With the 54 tattoos combined. Right. We right. all about the negativity. Yes, I guess I do deal with the negative aspect. So, for the negative, it took me a really, like, long time to, like, learn this, too. And we'll need names, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, well, you know, I, I don't like to put people on blast, you know. I'm not throwing shade at nobody, but, um... I learned that like people are always gonna have something to say negative mm -hmm. regardless, and at the end of the day, it could just be something as simple as they don't understand your art. So it's like, why am I worried about you not understanding my art? That's like a you problem. It's not really a me problem. So <gasps> yeah, it's that big facts. But um, for positive too, I just kind of like take it, and um, I think it kind of goes into the negative, the way you're able to take like both the positive and some of the negative, because you know, constructive criticism is great, but if you just hate him to be a hater, then we ain't got time for that. Yeah. Yeah. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> you all you're telling niggas shoo. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, sometimes you gotta tell them, yeah. That's what's working out here in the streets. Hey, yeah. You gotta watch out for the guys. Shoo, yeah. Y'all yeah. get shoo niggas. Right. Right. Yeah, that's tough. Um, I guess talk to us a little about your single on Ashton. I just been making of it. Oh, okay. Um, this is before when my writing wasn't as good, mm -hmm. and um, I heard like this uh, or I had bits and pieces of this uh, melody in my head, and um, for the chorus, my friend Reen did such an amazing job with it, and uh, in my head I was like, I gotta get this like melody down, and then the rest just kind of like formed. It was supposed to be a part of a different uh scrapped EP. But I ended up making a whole story out of it with uh, my brother, which kind of made like, you know, space talk in general. But astronaut was kind of like, you know, wanting to take off and like wonder what else is out there. Because, you know, you never know. You could be limiting yourself. So I got one. Um, when do you know a song's over? Like, when do you know you're done with the song? Um... I feel like that is a question because even when you feel like you're finished, there's like different stages of done. You know, mm -hmm. you could be done with like the writing, you could be done with like the beat, like yeah. production. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you're never really fullish, like finished with a song. Like there's always something more that you can add. It doesn't mean you should, right? Like, yeah. You know, uh, always at that. the end, yeah, <laughs> you're like, uh, -uh. yeah. yeah, yeah. Just... I definitely had those type of moments. <laughs> they were like, Siri, take that mess out. <laughs> Constructive creative. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it comes full circle for sure. Mm. Tell us about uh, your Space Talk EP. Uh, Space Talk was uh, singles that I was trying to fit that were supposed to be part of other EPs or albums that just was not happening. So I decided to take um, different um, 
a different meaning into it and make it space themed since um, Astronaut was a very important song to me. And then the first song on there, Swiss, was very important to me as well. So you have this whole journey about, you know, aliens seeing like things like a social injustice and then just like going from there and being like, wow, Earth is very weird, you know, for that and just in general with all the issues. And then they go, they have like a terrible time. And then that's when Astronaut kind of comes in and it's like, damn, what else is out there, you know? If they're saying they had a shit time, then what's on their planet, you know? So just some, like, crazy, bizarre world that kind of gets, like, wrapped into one, so it makes sense. I'll say this. What separates yourself from any other artist? Um, for a lot of my music, I tend to, like, play in my own little world, but it's not just, like, one, like, theme. Like, you may hear another project that's completely different from this one, and it's still its own little world. So it'll be, like different i want to say like universes and different things like happening because there's always different ideas like jumbled up um inside of there and i feel like too because i've written like a lot you'll definitely see me like progress as an artist and you'll definitely like see the growth and see things that i'm passionate about see things that you're passionate about and my goal with like mayday in general was to hopefully have like you know um, my fans and like the audience see a part of themselves in that so i think that's what makes it different do you um, separate yourself from your music or like do you have like an alter ego you say when you're making music or it's pretty much just 100% you? Um, I think it, it varies. Uh -huh. There's sometimes when it is like 100% me on the line and you'll see that. Mm -hmm. There are times when I have to channel Mayday as like kind of like this, um, I don't want to say hard, but like it's his own like separate like personality you know just like the flow of things the more chill version and then i think i have like a more chaotic so i definitely do have like different personas that i use what do you like to do to unwind or relax um i like to just like meditate go to my happy place mm -hmm. listen to music i listen to like a lot of different types of music mm -hmm. or just Binge watch shows that I need to like catch up on. So I have like 50 of them and I just like go down them. <laughs> Which ones are they? Oh, okay. Uh, I just finished The Witchery on Netflix, which is really good. Um, and then I watch like comfort movies if I just want to be in a comfortable space, which is weird because it's the Oceans series, like the mm -hmm. movies. I don't know why, but they've just always been my comfort movies. Have you seen Wednesday on Netflix? I haven't. My sister keeps telling me to watch it, but it's, it's, it's on really, my list. It's a really good show. Mm. What? Um, Wednesday was good. No. Nah. It was trash. Okay, I give you that. But the rest of the show was. It was a waste of time because the ending was trash. It's like built like a great build up. Like, Season two is going to be bad. <laughs> I was going to say, we got to get the second one. <laughs> But that's fair though, because I had some series I dropped because it was not making no sense. Now, I get what you're saying, like, the build up is great, but you get to the end, you like, this, this is what I was waiting for. <laughs> what's, your, what's your show right now, XP? I'm watching right now. What you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? What's the last show I watched? I'm waiting on uh, a couple of new seasons, uh, Severance. Oh, that's on Apple Plus. So oh, see, I couldn't get into that one. You really did? I couldn't. She is great. <laughs> I <laughs> tried to. I really did. Yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, to be fair, I have a bad habit after the first episode. <laughs> like, okay. That's it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it started off with a slow hour a lot. It's an interesting concept, it is. See, I, I made it like I could do not maybe like uh, he got like, like a two minutes in for, to be like the manager of the department. Oh. And apparently, the old guy who was a manager, he had found out how to get the chip that they had in their head removed. So he had like was out trying to like expose the company. And Spoiler warning! Yeah. You know, it sounds like no black television shows you talked about. My <laughs> brother, my <laughs> brother. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, what season does he got? Oh, yeah. Where does he get the body? Don't matter. Nah. This is Ben. He get caught in the last, like, the last few episodes. But he don't die. My brother. What else are you about to watch? Keep brother alive. Evil. Where's that on? Uh, I want to say Paramount. Paramount. I want to say. I still need to watch it. I feel like I've heard of it. Yeah. Ballet. Basically, like, uh, Ballet. Going around, uh, doing like paranormal activity. Basically, saying if it's like. If it's like some out of an ordinary, like so, it's like ghost hunters or whatever. Almost, it but it's like for the church almost. So it's like, oh, okay. it's like they give them different things. Like people need to be exorcised, like need an exorcism or something. Oh, he do exorcisms. So he, they send him and his group out to check on the people before they get like a priest, like a real priest, to do the exorcism. So before so they get the priest on his team, it's him who is like he he is like a church yeah, bro. To become a priest. So he's like in his <laughs> apprenticeship. Like, uh, a white lady, she's like a psychologist, so she don't, she not into, she didn't think everything fake. Like, she don't believe in God. But before the priest. I got, see, I gotta have protection before I go in there. I can't just walk up in there. Indian dude, he like, he like, uh, atheist too, but he like, basically think everything that's, that happens has a reason. So he like, really detect. So you, say you hear a noise in your house, and you like, you might be a ghost. He like, Nigga, it's your pipe. But what happens if it really is? Huh? What happens if it really is? Might be so, in one of the episodes, like, he realized, he ended up, like, going into a situation where he, like, nah, this can't be real. Like, there's no way this shit is happening. And he can't, like, fathom that it's some shit that he can't, like, determine whether or not it's fake or not. But it's a great show. Okay. I'm going to have to look at it, though. I don't know. Yeah. My boy. Okay. My main man. I still haven't caught up on a Wu Tang American song. Nick. And Power. Chicago PD. Chicago PD in this. That's in Resident You saw it. You saw it. Resident Evil? The TV series. I heard that was bad. Yeah, they kind of tried. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, it was, it was like good. Like, they tried. Semi. Demi tried. So, I thought it was like, 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 you like, bro. Honestly, I wanted them to, like, uh, pick it up for season two, but they didn't. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's the telltale of some shit that they tried. They like, well, you gotta see that one. Well, I don't know. It's on Netflix, right? Yeah. They be canceling a lot of good shows. That's a fact. That is that. <laughs> What if they what did they cancel on? Who was the one with uh dude who plays Raekwon now from Wu Tang? It was um kinda like the beatboxing show, I guess. Oh, was it the the, the rap one? Yeah. They canceled that? Yeah. Stop. Wow. I didn't know they canceled it. That was a good show. Okay, okay, Netflix. Yeah. Hey, y'all yeah, just go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Mayor of Kingstown? Mm. I heard that one. His title sound. Y'all saw him about like. Jack of Jack and Harry. They like in, in New, between like Utah and Kansas. Ah, like my team yeah. yesterday. And basically, like they didn't own this land for so long. But people keep like moving in to like the city to like do other things. Like, so, say for instance, like everything was a farmland. Yeah. And nigga move in next door and like when you when you walk your horses or some shit, he'll put metal crates there, like, nigga, my car need to walk drive through here. And you like, bro, my cow is getting stuck. So now you got you got an issue like that. Or it'd be like a nigga move in, now they trying to uh back half your property to put a, a resort. You gotta fight that and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Hey, man. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> They be murdering people on that jet. First time, like a like a law enforcement officer, so they be like murdering niggas. Like, What's the lot is in Utah, but ain't nobody in the uh, ain't nobody in Utah crying. Well, see me, I'll just end up watching The Wire from season one. Nah, nah, nah. Again, see, that's the problem. You watching the black people kill people. You gotta watch these, these other folks kill you. <laughs> Brown your horizon. We not the only one to kill it, bro. Oh my God, we not the only one. That's all I'm saying. Holy <laughs> stuff. Uh, one more time. Uh, I know you do that. Most of the time, I ain't going to do that one time, but that's what's up. Uh, shit. Oh, 
you have any musical albums up there? Other than Nick here. Um, I have a lot of them. They're very spread. But I, like, I do like old school vibes, so I think Lauryn Hill is definitely a big one for me. Respect. Yeah. Uh, Queen Latifah, obviously. Respect. Yeah. And um, I want to say, like, I don't know. I, I just, I have, like, different genres of music, too. So, like, I don't know if y'all ever heard of, like, Nani Martinez. But I like how she does, like, the little worlds. So hmm. that's part of where I get, like, my inspiration for that. But, yeah. And uh, Kendrick Lamar is a big one for me, too. I love Kendrick. What's your favorite album? It's a Peppa Butterfly. Okay. I really like how much a dollar costs. Uh, that's my jam. That's my shit. Mm. I'll say this. What do you think of the virtual music scene right now? I think there's a lot of different stuff out there for everybody. I like how diverse it is. And I like how um, sometimes you can have people come together and it can be like really big like shows and stuff going on. How do you get ready for a performance? Good question. Um, lot, lots of nervousness, lots of pep talks, lots of people telling me to get over it. And then I just kind of do it. What's your favorite song to perform? Um, My favorite song is one that's not released just because I like the vibe of it. And it's really easy for me to like, you know, pick it up and go with I got a question for you. Do you ever get tired of your own music? <gasps> um, Whether that be a song or just in general. Not, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I only get tired of it when I'm like hearing either like the previous like stuff that you've like recorded over before and you know it could be better or mm -hmm. you know you got to add something to it. That's when I'm like, nah, because I know I got to do it better. Oh. But other than that, no. Nah, I'm constantly like analyzing and like going through like what worked here, what didn't, what okay. sound better. So I never really get tired of it. Okay, okay. I ask that because like sometimes like you know you hear like people like when they have to like sing a song over and over again, it's like all right, mm -hmm. like okay. But yeah, yeah, but I was just wondering. But okay, but it's yeah. like you're not worth the podcast. Honestly, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it'll get handled off camera. But thank God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Tuck, if you can name one of your biggest improvements to your performance from when you started in the music now. Um, my tone it used to be very dry. Probably sells a little bit, but we getting there. We getting there. Don't nod your head. <laughs> oh no, it's more improvement, right? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, right, yeah. Watch the chin level, nigga. Yeah, right, right, right. right, 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 right. Okay. okay. Um, what do you like? I guess just. Uh, like, you know, we're, we're clearly non-talented artists over here. We, we don't need to cut what we do. So I guess you can, like, sing to or just in and out of different, like, notes or whatever. Um, or just how your voice sounds in general. Definitely my, how my voice sounds in general. I think my voice is very, I don't know, like, you know, when you record something, you just hate the way your voice sounds. So it's, like, getting yeah. over that and then finding, like, the rhythm in that, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You got anything else? Can you give me silence? Can you give me to these boppets? I got one. Talk to him. You, uh, you get one album. You want to add it. What album you taking with you? Oh, that's hard. Um. You like different, like, you like different genres. So I want to know. I know. Oh my gosh. I do like different genres. And it's weird because I, I like change my obsessions every other day. But right now, it's probably going to have to um, s still be uh, uh, still be Kendrick. Yeah. Oh, yes. Still be still be the Pimp Butler. Like, I got to have that song. <laughs> Which album would you take, HB? My album. Hmm. Yeah, you ain't rocking with your boy Perico? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. You folding on him? Why can't you? Your dog? Your man, man? Mean, you mean. You gonna add like something to the point too? Add like something to the point too. Keep Perico. Yeah, that's what we're going. Yeah. What about you? What Anything by Luther Vandross. Yes, sir. 
Respectfully. Respectfully. What about you, Chuck? It's on my head. I guess Blueprint, Jay Z. I can do that. Respect. Mm-hmm. The first one. No way. And then we'll be done. We bought the rest. As we turn off the Luther. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the Luther? You die out. Right? Right. Yeah. Right.
Jesus. I actually like this. I like the Jesus too. I stopped listening uh, at the. What was that song he came? It was like the J he dropped right before he went to Austin. What was that? What he is getting. Yeah, this this frog is the ball. Yeah, y'all ain't say me. Yeah. Who has an underrated talent? Soldier boy talent. Little bit. Yeah. Uh. Chris Brown. Well, Chris Brown is underrated. Well. Yeah, we don't want no smoke. We don't want no smoke. We don't want no smoke. Idris Elba? Um, damn. Let me just say how many albums he had real quick so I can say it. Um, some other controversy. Y'all see on y'all see Little Mermaid? I haven't seen it yet. I ain't Miss Bailey. Um, Little Mermaid. No, but that's my mom said that Jamie Fire. You can go see it with my niece. Respectfully. She said it's like some characters that in the original one got cameos in more times than they probably did in the cartoon that they really did in the original series. Hmm. Nice. What they saying about it? Oh, uh, okay. I guess it's open to me. So uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was going to say We're anybody. Hey, chill out. The, I guess the controversy kind of died down, you know, with all the other thing. Mm-hmm. Apparently it's something too, like with the, uh, they're making a, Cleopatra movie. Oh, I, yeah, I think the girl. I forgot what race she is, but she's like she's not obviously like Greek or anything like that. No, so, she's black, but people are mad. She was dark is. skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Shit like that, man. You know what's funny? I've never heard the voice out there. Come on. Yeah. You said Cleopatra, right? Yes. That's like the Egyptian girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she's not Egyptian. Yeah. Egypt is in Africa. And they mad that she's black. They mad that she not light skin. They big mad. They mad that she probably would have been dark skin. Mm. Stop it, HB. I'm just saying. Stop it, HB. You're saying the right things. I'm just saying. And they be mad at the Western. You know the way. They just saying. You know the way. They don't want us to. They don't want us to take it all they care. That's what they saying, man. We already got a little mermaid. Damn. You know what I mean? We can't have Cleopatra. She was in the Little Mermaid. Oh, she can sing? Yeah. Well, I mean, I had heard that she couldn't sing, but she sings very well. Yeah. Yeah, she's a, yeah. She put the director in the team. She likes signing Beyonce. Have like you seen her name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't there some controversy about that? Like, her and Beyonce. That's just what's the sway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, word. That nigga clock. Nah, nah, nah. Respect to Haley Bailey. Haley Bailey. Yeah. I thought it was Haley. Holly Bailey. No, no, no. We're going to make this out like that. Because it's Chloe and Haley. What the hell? What, what, what the little girl's name is? Uh, Holly Bailey. Holly Bailey. Holly Bailey. Yeah. Holly Bailey. 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 Y'all, y'all terrible, y'all. Y'all got to stop this. 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 Stop, stop, y'all. Stop, stop. Y'all got to stop this. 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 Y'all got I think I got it, Justin. Like, dang. Uh, 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 you got anything else, HB? Uh, 
or in the street is, you ain't post that video that an uh, owl is supposed to be eating, get the 200 likes. What happened to that? Y'all, the 804 podcast. It somehow got deleted. I don't know. Somebody, somebody that, you know, that had control of the footage, right? Somehow got stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, all right. So, yeah. So, go ahead and, uh, what was the next one? Who gave him the draft? So, so, what was the next topic, Jesse? What was the Jesse Wonders? What, 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 what was the Jesse Wonders? What was the Jesse Wonders? Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Who gave him? Hey, hey, Jesse. The 804 podcast will be eating. The 804 podcast. If you go to the store and come back with some cottage cheese, it might be the we get a pack of marbles, right here, uh, and backwoods, right here, and a goddamn right here. And so, a pot of cheese. That's such a weird person. <laughs> hey, somebody ordered that. I didn't even know what Al was looking at. I was like, where would this be at? Probably dairy products or something like that. You wouldn't know. Tighten up. Bro, tighten up. I'm just putting two and two together, y'all. You might get the bug. For real. I guess. <laughs> I don't need cheese, I'll tell you that. Not cheese. Who <laughs> need the cheese? Well, yeah, it's not, it's not cheese. But it's cottage kind of cheese. Yeah, but it's not cheese. Y'all are disgusting. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, what that, would you classify it as? It, it's not like cheesy cheese, like mm, cheesy. It's more like spready cheese, like, more like spready. Yeah. More like <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, That's a forbidden yogurt. Uh, Think of yogurt. Think of yogurt, but like not yogurt. But cheesy. Yeah, it, oh, it's not cheesy. Uh, <laughs> you gonna finish? Oh, yeah, you gonna finish. Explain to my brother. Oh, yeah. Cottage. Yeah, it's in a cottage. Yeah. Well, shit. Yeah, I guess that will bring me to my Jesse wonder. What does Jesse wonder? Is there a food item that you like now that you didn't like as a kid? That you hated as a kid? Like for mine, mine was eggs. I could not stand eggs as a child. That's crazy. You know that, nigga. That's crazy. I could not stand eggs as a child, but now, I ain't gonna say I love them now, but I definitely don't mind. Oh, I kind of do remember that actually. Yeah. I had some dumb out line, anything that you thought was just like, ugh. And then now, like, you know what they say, taste buds grow or whatever? Or yeah. Whatever. What is it? Are you acquired taste or something? I think so. You are a food expert, my guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. If there's anybody, <laughs> you, eat, you eat full plates of fat ass. Oh, okay, okay. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, that fat from McLean's ain't bad. Yeah, it might be bad for you. Don't eat it all the time. But that, that is good. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but go ahead. <laughs> Mine would be mustard. I used to hate it, but now nah, it's all right. Hmm. <laughs> 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 all right, now. Yeah. 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 Portobello, sauteed portobello mushrooms. Nigga, that sounds like something you ate just now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you were three or four of that when you said you were yeah. so let me get, yeah. yeah. Nah, for real. It's mushroom. Yeah, well, yeah, because I used to think, like, ew, like, bro, it's a mushroom. Like, mush. But, like, you know, but, like, now it's like, no, like, put it in something, you know, got it with some chicken, like, sauteed, too. Portobello mushrooms, not. Portobello. Respectfully, respectfully. Oh, yeah. I thought you were Portobello mushrooms. The the What's the difference? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? What? Portobello, Portobello mushroom. Portobello mushroom? Not good for your health. <laughs> I'm going to just do that. Oh, wait. Huh, what? Keep eating. That's what I said. Here. Here, nigga. That's crazy. Yeah. It just sounds so, like you. Nah. On the yeah, facts. Yeah, That's if they saute it, then you be alright. Yeah, like I'm telling you, saute oh, onions. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's crazy. 
that back, sauteed mushrooms, you're good. I only, I only agree with the mushrooms. Don't put me in with the fat back. I'm the sorry. fat back? You're not rocking with the fat back? Nah. He will defend fat back with his plan. I'm sure he will. Fat back. Yeah. Fat back is good, y'all. It tastes delicious. It's the first word in the name that's a no for me. I mean, it's not good for you, but I mean, it tastes good. Bro, it does. What, is, what does it taste like? I'm, 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 I want to know the explanation on it. What it actually tastes like? like? Okay, it's definitely salty. <laughs> and that's about, and that's all about I can. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Why would I go for fat fat if bacon's on the menu? Bacon. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Look. Give me the bacon. I'll give you one of my fat back, and then I'll have the rest of the the fat back and the bacon. Since you don't want, okay, so that doesn't sound it like, sounds like you can't explain why bacon tastes better. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're saying taste wise, I will say crispy bacon. Just help me out. Yeah, <laughs> crispy bacon is not bad. Yeah, it is good. Fat back is good too. Okay, Nick, what's your food? Go ahead. Wait, what was the other one? Who are you that you like now that you hated as a kid? Hated coming out. Fat back. Nick's that is I fat like back. Now, but mm-hmm. Nick's is fat back. He loves fat back. Couldn't see yourself eating. When I was younger, I didn't like pineapple. Mm. But now, mm. if I could have it every day, I would. You seem mm. like mm. my man's out. <laughs> Okay. But what is it? Something that I used to like that I don't like now is turkey bacon. Mm. <laughs> turkey bacon is disgusting. It's nasty though? It's, nasty. it's better than fat back. Oh, I don't eat fat back. So. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 hey, oh, what thing I do <laughs> It's better for you. Be it's not as flavorful as, like you know, like normal bacon, yeah, pork bacon. Canadian bacon is ham. Yeah, it is, right? So, how often do you consume fat back? Fat back? Let's let's go ahead. I would say, okay, you don't want to be like a everyday fat back eating kind of person. So, you don't want to be eating it every day. The gout. The gout. Yeah, that is true. That is true. You get hit with gout. Yeah. So. <laughs> so um i would say like if you're eating fat back maybe like once a year you're looking pretty good you're looking all right once a year maybe you know maybe uh twice a year maybe you know one you know in the half part of the first one and then half on the you know, other part but yeah i'd say once a year maybe twice so what do you do <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. Yeah, hold on, real quick. I just need my uh, hit of um. Some... Okay, uh, Jesse, uh, what's the next topic? Yeah, no, no. You can't name your last. When was the last time? I don't know. Nah, I ain't got that back in. It's been a little minute. Yeah. Oh, to the people out there, please stop consuming chitlins. Oh, yeah. please. please. Please stop cooking them. All of it, it smells nasty. Please. Everybody knows in the Chitlins are fat back. Fat back has to win, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Respectfully, my brother. Thank Sensible, you. my brother. That's a tough ass. <laughs> dinner table right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> what you want? What you want? <laughs> <laughs>
Get on with it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, yeah, yeah, pal. Yeah, one thing they forgot to get out the, out the crowd. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll talk to him, man. What were you doing this week? You're sitting at home, mm. laying in bed. You got your chitlins on your dresser right beside the bed, That's eating nice. chitlins. What time is this? In, in, it, it, it's five thirty p.m. Yeah. Wow. You you laying in bed, chitlins on your dresser, eating chitlins, and in your other hand, you got your W twos in your hand, your ten ninety nine miscellaneous, ten ninety nine non employee compensations, ten ninety five A B and C. They have great job. Here, by the way. Yeah, great job. You have your 2020 and 2021 stimulus letter. You ain't done your taxes since 2016. You are eating chitlins, laying in bed. You are eating chitlins, laying in bed. You got grease on your W-2s. <sighs> what do you need to do, Jesse? Um, I mean, you know. I, Wipe I, off your hands. Okay, yeah, here's okay, the <laughs> Just a little bit further. 2650 Hall Street Road. That's 2650 Hall Street Road. Fiscal Fitness Tax and Financial Services, y'all. My father's business, Derek L. Alford. Been doing taxes over 30 years. And um, you, you might catch your boy in there. With a, with, no, not chitlins. Fat back. Yeah, once a year. And and also with all that, I might be doing a little something, something on the keyboard. You know what I mean? I might be doing a little something, something on the keyboard. Year, is that like your comfort food? Or something? I mean, you know, it's just like not your, like your celebration food. It's not that healthy, so you don't want to overeat it. You know what I mean? Everything in moderation. So it's your celebration. Everything in moderation. <laughs> so like New Year's comes, and you know how people get the kiss <laughs> of the night. No, 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 no. <laughs> Move out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Move out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get my back. Right, you're right. Oh, Alex. What about Alex, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah. yeah, fiscal fitness, tax, and financial services. Like I said, super proud of my dad. Um, we still do taxes. You are past the deadline, but we can still do them for you. You got three years to electronically file your taxes, y'all. Um, like I said, the number is 804-321-5766. That's 804-321-5766. Um, like Nick said, drink water, um, especially when you're eating fat back. Um, stay away from chitlins, y'all. Tighten up, bro. Tighten up, for real. Seriously, chill. You want to live a long life? Chill. Avoid this man's advice. Hey, <laughs> chill out, chill out. Fat back once a year. You just said Ain't it nothing just, wrong with it. You said it was just nothing but salt. Nothing. That's all you take. Salt. Well, okay. It's like kind of like salt, and then like you kind of taste the Man. the fat. Man. Yeah. Man. So, Man. So. Any announcements? <laughs> you gotta start a campaign. Because if we let them go, we're not gonna get the ingredients. Oh, uh, uh, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Saturated fat. Congratulations to my cousin for graduating. Love you, man. Uh, congratulations to all the graduates out here. Um, yeah, love you, Justin. Um, my sister, Ariel, good job. She won an award. Love you, A. Um, love you, Mom. Happy Memorial to everybody. And yeah. Man, you got any announcements, shout outs, anything you want to say before you get out of here? Um, be on the lookout for a remix of my mixtape Space Talk and more projects coming soon. Portobello Mushroom. Oh, uh, well, yep. Yeah. yeah, Mushroom Game. There you go. Well, you already know. There you go. Yeah. Represent. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, obviously, shout out for me for coming through. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for um, coming. And shout out to the 804 podcast. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. J1 Day 1 stuff. Um, short films, short scenes. Holler at us. Um, shout out to HB on the ones and twos. Uh,
All right, everybody, this is the 804 Podcast. Shout out to Mayday for coming through. We appreciate you. Again, stay away from chitlins. Stay away from chitlins, yep. And don't listen to Al. Okay, listen to me. I'm Nick. Once a year. Jesse. Alex. And that was it. The 804 Podcast. We love y'all. Eat some fat back. We are out of here. Bing, bada, boom. Last order of business. This is a dirty ass hat. Does anybody want to help me? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Skink the heem. Heem skink. Pink. May do the honors. Thank you. Yeah. Ow, my uh, spine. We just need your signature and we're about here. Yeah, Let's right. Make it official. Signature. Oh, I've been working on it, but we will just go with the basics. Yeah, as long as it's better than Alex, you should. Be. Yeah, honestly, bro. Like. Yeah, the dog, oh, <laughs> yeah. there it is. There you go. And these, we are, we're two bodyguards. So right. Yeah, yeah. So like you that. might not want to mess with us. Yeah. Are Bring we out? Are we out? It might be the 84 podcast, and we just might be. Are we out? out?